Hold, Shemlin. Your kind are not welcome among the Dalish. What's a Shemlin? An elven slur for human. It means you're not one of the people, and you should leave now. Who are you people? We are the last of the Elven. Keep that in mind, Hawk. Elves you see elsewhere, figments of your imagination. They have given up their identity to live among Shemlin. They are Elven no more. I'm not expecting tea and cakes. I just need to see someone. There's nothing here for any human. Wait. This is the one the Keeper spoke of. A Shemlin? I thought he'd be an elf. Enter the camp. Keeper Marathari has been waiting for you. Cause trouble, and you'll meet our blades, stranger. Marathari, I was told to bring you this amulet. And Aranatishan, travelers. Indeed, I am Keeper Marathari. Let me look at you. There's truth in your face. A rare thing in a human. Tell me how this burden fell to you, child. Your guards said you spoke of me. How did you know I was coming? I listened. To the wind, to the birds, as the hunters do, to my dreams. I watched the stars. There is great wisdom to be found all around us, if you know how to listen for it. But I was not certain. Nothing is certain. Are you the leader of these Dalish? Why did the witch tell me to bring this amulet to you? I am the keeper of this clan. It is my task to guide my people and to ensure the old ways are not forgotten. As for Asha Belenar, I am tied to her, just as you are, by a debt that must be repaid. Exactly what have I been carrying around? Is it magic? It is a promise, child. Made by one whose word still has weight. And therefore, it has terrible power. There are few things in this world stronger than a promise kept. Remember that. This amulet's owner rescued my family from the Blight. In return, I agreed to bring it to you. I honor you for coming to me. But I'm afraid your part in this is not done yet. The amulet must be taken to an altar at the top of the mountain and given a Dalish rite for the departed. Then, return the amulet to me. Do this and your debt will be repaid. Are you going to teach me this rite for the departed? I will send my first with you. She will see to it the ritual is done, and when it is complete, I must ask that you take her with you when you go. Who is your first? First of what? Your people would call her my apprentice, or heir. Meryl would have taken my place as keeper, but she has chosen a new path. Please, guide her safely from here. That seems a little odd. It is her wish, and I must grant it. You'll find Meryl waiting for you on the trail just up the mountain. Dareth Shiral. This mountain is cursed, I swear.
You have done a great kindness in returning this. It's nice to get some fresh air. Kirkwall starts to stink after a bit. Something about this whole creepy ancient magic thing makes me nervous. I feel like there's a different law at work in this place. Someone else's rules. A Shemlin? Watch your steps, Yam. You don't know how many Dalish arrows are trained on you right now. Shemlin. Wonderful. Make your business. I am Master Aylan, a crafter for this clan. Forced to stay so close to this Shemlin city, I've seen my share of outsiders pass through our camp. Is there something you needed? Are you a specialist? What sort of things do you make? A Dalish crafter does many things. We create weapons, armor, anything our clan has need of. I don't need anything right now. Of course. Dalish crafting is second to none, I assure you. In my experience, all Dalish women are crazy. You're one of the Amaranthine Conspirators. There's a bounty on your head. Curse you!
that's the last of them. You do good work. Come, men, back to the vigil, and away from this cesspool of a city. Someone placed manure in it again. Another fragment. This is yours, if I'm not mistaken. This was free of its handler. Well, you're a lucky one. Thank you. Your family can rest now. Their killers are gone. Excuse me, who are... My post to the Chancellor's board? Did Her Grace let that stay? I thought for sure no one even read, but you say you've killed them. You have my eternal gratitude, Sirrah. It is comforting to think my parents might now rest easily in their graves. Who are you exactly? I am Sebastian Vale, Prince of Starkhaven. Her Grace might prefer I introduce myself as a brother in the Chantry, but I could not stay after what happened to my family. Why didn't your family's enemies hunt you down as well? That's why I took the offensive. Thanks to you, those Flint Company assassins are no longer a danger. I'm the last of my line. Unless I survive, my family will have no justice. Who sent these mercenaries? My family has ruled Starkhaven for six generations. We have enemies, but none who would identify themselves openly. A distant cousin of mine is claiming rulership now, but he is... a bit simple. He can be no more than a pawn in this plot. Surely you have a guess as to who was behind it? My parents were always... prudent in how they handled our nobles. They did not allow rivalries or resentments to flourish. 
The attack must have come from outside. Kirkwall is our largest trading partner. I came back here to find support for my claim, and perhaps for a clue as to who is behind this foul deed. I hope their deaths bring you peace. Thank you. More than I can say. I truly did not expect anyone but me to take up this cause. Consider this in advance. When I have secured my lands again, you will be paid royally. Now if you'll excuse me, I must meet with the Viscount and petition him for aid to a fellow city. His mood's definitely improved, but he's too frisky to be cooped up in this shack all day. We need more space. I'm sure Uncle Gamlin would like nothing more than to be rid of us. I suppose I could take him for a stroll. What an odd sight we'll make. A mother and her Mabari. <laughs> 